Hey guys, I'm Noah, and welcome to another LEGO review. Today I have the Coast Guard four-wheel drive and jet scooter from LEGO City. Set number 7737, ages 5 to 12, and this contains 130 pieces. Um, this set was originally released in 2008 and retired in 2009, so I had a two-year span. Um, and they're originally retailed for $9.99. Right now, um, it's going for around $29 for a new sealed, or um, I think it was 8 bucks for uh, used, open, or, you know, missing pieces and all that. Um, so, let's jump right into this box. Um, this was a gift from for me. I did not purchase it myself. Um, it was from my friend. I'll go ahead and put him in my description below. And you can go ahead and check him out. His name is George, and he also, he also does Lego reviews. So first, as you notice, this box looks like it was squished over time um, from the previous owner. But yeah, let's check out the back right here. You see we got the Coast Guard man driving the truck right there with the trailer. And we got the what is that, uh, jet ski in the back. We got him getting in it, you know, going out to save some lives. And we got the rear view of both the trailer and the truck. The front. We just got him walking about and stuff. Same up here on the top. Lego club, that's nice. And yeah, that seems about it. It's crazy to think that this was $9.99 back in the day. Um, you know, a set like this today would be about like $15 or even $20, you know. It's crazy that it was $10 in 2008. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this out, build it, and I'll show you guys what it's all about. Alright guys, and here we are with the build. So, first let me go ahead and show you that um, there is a few stickers applied. Um, there is no printed parts in this set. Um, you know, here's an instructions book. Pretty standard stuff from 2008. Pretty interesting on the back, how they don't have, you know... All the advertisements and the the part count because it came on a little poster right here. So we just flip this open, and you got you know the Lego Club ad, the parts. And then on the back, I think it's pretty cool how it just came in a bigger paper instead of all those all small in the instructions book because you know I could just frame it and put it up, which I do plan on doing with it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. They don't do stuff like this no more. That's for sure. So here we are with the minifig. This is our Coast Guard worker. He has that orange hair goatee. Um, it's in the numerous Lego sets, Lego City um, sets, I'm sure. Um, and he got that Coast Guard torso, the red with the blue arms, and the long brim hat. So we'll go ahead and set him to the side over here. You guys can look at him and then before we get to the truck let's hop on the back real quick so first we got there we go we got the jet ski back here fully loaded you got the engine right here handles one sticker right here pretty simple and then it came with the life jacket that you just um attach on back right here it's pretty loose it doesn't you know stay on it falls right off where did it go there it goes so you know but it just sticks on right here in case he has to um, drive up to someone saving someone's life and you could throw that at them so they could float to him or he could use it himself and then we got the rest of the trailer back here we got the license plate um, you also get an oxygen tank right here with the helmet with the snorkel attached to it that can be elevated and then you got his flippers right here on the side. And I believe this stays on or, you know, I, I would assume you could take it off too. And, you know, as like a traffic guide or, you know, like off limits as he's saving some lives. And then you just attach it up on here. Ball and socket joint going on right there. Set that aside. Here's the truck. Four by four. I love the tires. I haven't seen these in a while. And yeah, I haven't seen them in a while, actually. 
Um, there probably are. I don't know if they are being used still or not, but this is my first time honestly seeing them because um, I don't really buy old sets or really vehicles at the moment. But yeah, they, I love them. I love them. They're perfect for like off-wheel, I mean off-road, excuse me, off-roading and stuff like that, vehicles. It looks pretty cool. We got some overhead lights right here that you could adjust. There's the top sticker right here on top. You got the giant antenna, the walkie-talkie, some more stickers on the sides. Again, simple, basic build, yet it got the job done. Yeah, just to put them in, you just lift this up. Let's go ahead and move this down. And then you just grab him. Sit him right in there. Just like that, with the hat on, if you sit him back, of course. And just slap that on, and he's ready to go. Save some lives. So overall, this set, I mean, it's simple, but it's great. Like, you could use it for your LEGO City mocks. Um, that's about it, honestly. Um, that's what I am plan to use it for. I do plan to build a little beach connected to my LEGO City. Um, that is still in development stages, but I hope to... Um, be able to, you know, get that going and show you guys the process of me building my own Lego city. But yeah, it's awesome. Um, I like it more than the, I believe it's the 2013 iteration. And then I believe there's the 2020 one. I don't know if it's a four plus or, but, or a regular set, but you know, it's pretty small and it looks fragile, but the 2013 one looks pretty cool. You know, it comes with the same stuff. It comes with two guys, a driver and a deep sea diver. It comes with like a different boat too, not the the jet ski. But I, I really like this one. I grew up um, with this wave of Lego City from 2008. So, you know, it has a place in my heart. But yeah, overall, it's great. I love it. And, you know, I do recommend it for you guys looking to build some Lego City um, beach mocks and all that. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Have a good one.